Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to head to Boston today for the 118th marathon. Most of the spectators will head to area MBTA stations today to take advantage of the fastest and most hassle-free way to get to the marathon route. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is actually on board a train to Boston. What's it like in there? Is it crowded, Steve? Yeah, it's absolutely crowded on this train right now. There's a lot of energy inside, and as I was looking around to see different people to to their head to the marathon. I came down into this car and immediately saw just a sea of Red Sox gear. So I started talking to all these guys over here. They all look like they're about to have a good time. I got Joe and Steve here with me. You guys, you went to uh, the marathon last year, right? Yes, we did. So yes, we did. why are you headed on down this year? Well, a little repeat of last year and uh, support everyone up in Boston. Important to come this year after what happened last time? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think, Steve? It's a 50 year anniversary. We always go up there. Buddy of ours' birthday, so we're going to celebrate. I'm going to have a good time. It's going to be a little bit different this year probably, Steve, you think? Yeah, with all the police presence, it'll be a little crazy up there with all the people that are going to be there. Important uh, to come here this year. I know it's a tradition for you guys to come every single year, but does this year have a little bit of extra meeting after what happened last year? We were definitely going to come back. We started planning it the day after. Absolutely. And, and what do you think, Joe? Absolutely, same thing. We need everyone's presence up there, especially after the events of last year. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate you talking with me. And as you can tell, this train is absolutely packed with people right now. A whole bunch of Red Sox fans going up to the game there and also a lot of people going up for the marathon. So stay tuned with us. We'll be back here in just about a half an hour talking to more people, getting their take on why they're headed up to Marathon Monday. Reporting live with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.